Yo, what's up, guys? As you can see, the top left the season ends in five days. So we got to try to get through this as quick as we can. And I'm not sure how much time I'll have to record the rest of the series. So we got to definitely get going on this. We're 1758 right now. SSL is 1875. So 120 ish points from now. And uh, we'll be there. But we're Grand Champ 3 Division 2. Let's get into it. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series. If you want to catch me over on Twitch, I'm live every day at 10 a.m. up until 4 p.m., 5 p.m. EST. So. Just convert your time zone, whatever your time zone is, to EST, and you'll find out what time I'm live at for you. And yeah, let's get into the games. Should be a good one for today. Going to be seeing how good the GC3s are getting as we reach 1800. Let's get into it. All right, we got Mopey season, it's almost 1800, and we're playing against Poncho, is also almost 1800. And me and Snoozy are the same rank. Both backing off of that ball, which actually is the right play there from uh, from Snoozy because he wasn't sure if I was going to be closer. I wasn't sure if he was going to be closer, so a little bit of respect both ways isn't the wrong play there. Take a shot that makes the last man back a little awkward. Did a great job. And again, you're seeing that kind of SSL level of uh, consistency there for sure. Like definitely interchangeable in terms of if he can make SSL or not. One more touch across from my team, it would probably have been a goal. I don't know if he saw me. Probably the only reason why he didn't pass. Ah, oh, it's bad for me. It was so awkward, but... I was trying to get a touch that I could... Yeah, that just became really awkward. My teammate bumped him, but I didn't do anything to him. So I was out of position based on that. I wasn't covering the worst case, which was my teammate not getting the bump. Why are you not joining? These guys know each other. I'm gonna go off the ceiling. Nice challenge. I thought it was forced last time back to be awkward. See if Mopey goes for the ball. He's backing off all the way. Alright, we have a 1v1 now. He actually got back. Take this back corner. They mess each other up. Should be a goal. Good job for Mopey. I should have high five him. Boom. Double jump to the corner, and they cut each other off. A little bit of a mistake. Trying to, trying to solo queue out of this garbage season. 850 games in, that's crazy. Got bumped off of that. Ah, oh, Timmy wasn't ready to shoot. Could have been a goal, but Taking the, the safe approach, backing it all the way up. Not a bad play at all. Gonna have a save here. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, don't mind that play for my team. He definitely could have scored, but he just, I don't think he expected it. A lot of little things that were unexpected there. Alright, it's gonna go back here. Teammate should be going already. Took a little bit longer than I thought he would. So it became a little awkward, but I think he might have been waiting back while they it's fine. Things aren't always gonna be perfect, especially solo queuing. You have to remember that. Try to see if I can catch him off guard. If they're gonna go for a dribble, it was worth potentially going for that. But definitely had some some downside. Well, committing there is always going to be a little bit risky. I'm taking a little bit more risky commit. I'm trying to just speed up my play a bit. I'm going to go back here. This play on the wall should be dead in a second. Oh, my teammate has a good challenge. Might be in. Nice. The teammate did enough to force his play, right? He went for the ball. Forced him to have to go low. And then he got a little bump on him. I've been playing with anyone. Full on solo queue mode, nice. Finish that off, Mopey. Good job. I have a pretty good feeling that uh, getting close to SSL, like 1850-ish, is gonna be pretty tough. We're gonna get a lot of SSL lobbies and they're just gonna be a little bit toss up -y. Wow, the low shot always gets me. So I'm always trying to block the best possible shot. It's definitely in my, um, 
my habits. Yeah, it looks like he was trying to go for a little bit of a higher shot. I can't tell. Like, from his perspective, hard to tell. The flip timing there is, like, slightly different for that to be a, a high shot versus a low shot. Bumps him off. I'm trying to just hit it back. Nice. I saw my teammate going for the bump, so why not? I might as well take that low at that point. A little 360 air, air dribble there, a little mini air dribble kind of. Not really. But good first game there. 10 points. We're at 1768. We're getting close to 1800. Mopey just got into the 1800s off that. So he's about 70 ELO off of SSL. But I'm sure he's been like low SSL before, if I had to guess. But let's get into the next game. Let's see how it goes. CRL Spring Contender. Okay, that's Snoozy from last game. Who slaughtered that own goal. All right, the soft cheat paying off. Again, man, I really am a hard voucher for that soft cheat where like you can cover a lot of different options. I think it's the best thing. Trying to keep either. Snoozy just wants to queue with someone, man. He's like, get me out of this solo queue stuff. Um, I think it's the best thing because you're covering so many different options, right? You're not hard committing to one thing. Like, my stick is sweaty. Wait for him to jump for this. That's fine. I'm just gonna sit in that for a second. I don't really recommend you doing that, but it's one of those situations where I feel like it's not not too bad to just wait for the shot. He's a little bit further away. He's probably gonna feel like it's a good idea to shoot that. So I'm just gonna let him use some more boosts here. He's not gonna be able to shoot this, he's leaving it for me. I think he's gained some respect for me off last game. The save, man. The squishy save. Really is broken in that situation. Save. Hit positioning. Waiting for my teammate to make his play. Then if he gets beat, it's fine. I'll be there. That's him playing his role well and me playing my role well. It could have been a goal. Try to bump him. <laughs> the point off the wall. Oh, they're going to be in. That's wide. Good bounce for us, too. Should be fine. Try to stay on this. I'm not gonna try to full commit really, I'm just trying to make him jump. See, I made him have to jump up back wall. His control is not gonna be great. He's not pre-planning for that. Usually if you get a really good control on the back wall, you're pre-planning for that to be the play. I'm gonna take a high touch and then fake a high touch by getting a reset. Then try to flip over him. Nice. So I'm faking the back wall touch. So go quick faking the back wall touch and then um yeah have the flip after which is really valuable and they have to try to block it i'm gonna fake this let him throw it away i'll leave it for my teammate why not he wanted to leave it for me after but i don't think he's gonna score this i want to grab this boost Nice, good finish. Good finish. The smart touch to the corner. Because if I get the read on the mid the mid play there, like if I just double it myself, they're cool. And obviously if my teammate is close enough, he's gonna be ready for a miss. And this rank now, obviously guys, most of you This rank you need you need to have good mechanics. If you don't have good mechanics, you're gonna struggle. So this is I think around the GC2 range, GC yeah, probably like end of GC1, beginning of GC2, you're going to start to need to have some good mechanics. You don't need SSL or pro level mechanics. You just need to have really consistent mechanics in terms of the basic stuff. So like being able to touch this here, land on the wall, jump again, get the recovery, right? And then be able to like take another quick shot on that. Stuff like that. Doesn't need to be perfect, right? I'm not going to do everything perfectly right now, but I'm just like trying to make sure that you guys understand that. Mechanics are extremely valuable at this rank now. I'm gonna fake this. Oh, no way. Bump him to the goal. 
Look at the reaction time. The old man reaction time. I still got it. I still got it. You hit this and I'm just ready. The backflip is the only way I get this on target as well. Hit up the water myself. Try to create a low boost kind of solo play here while using that flip. Yeah, that. So the reason why they're not going, it probably looks like they're trolling, but the reason why they're not going is because I, I threatened that I have this flip here. That gives me a little bit of spacing to work with and I can get a wave dash to close that space and then get a shot. So that's what I was talking about earlier, why that flip is so valuable. It truly is so valuable. Nice. I'm gonna fake. Try to get control of this back corner. Oh, really good play too. Created a bounce that I could use to flick over to second man. Always keep an eye on your opponent of this rank. Everyone's challenges are really good. So uh, when I have the ball like this, I'm looking at what the guy in the back wall is doing. And I'm trying to block him based off of that. I go for my outplay touch based on what the challenge looks like, right? I shouldn't just be going for a touch for the sake of it. I'm also looking at the opponent's car really hard here. And that's why I'm able to get the save to double. Again, that, that is also just pretty good mechanics, but... As you can see, true raid got his ground shooting down. Decent ground shot. Times it off the bounce is what I was talking about. You get good at timing things right after the bounce. Get the best shot possible on the wall, um, on the ground, bounce dribbles, all that stuff. Teammates should just go. Not gonna be in. I'm gonna jump challenge and I'm gonna try to jump. Get a soft touch so I can land back wall. Good save. Boost isn't gonna be there, so I'll just grab two pads. I'm gonna just get back now. Hit the back corner, that's fine. Maybe wide by a bit. Just gonna take this back corner boost. Wait for such a way here. Teammate should just go. And again, I'm positioning behind my teammate. My teammate gets beat. He's leaving it for me, so that's him just showing me that he wants me to have the ball. The game's over anyway. Body language and how like obvious you make it, how obvious you make your rotation to your teammate is pretty useful. But you don't want to be too obvious that the opponent's also gonna know what you're doing, right? It's have like a good balance of those two things. Where it's obvious in a sense of your teammate knows when you should be going, but it's not too obvious that the opponent knows what's happening as well. Like you don't want to be too too clear cut in what you're doing. It's gonna to be too easy to read, too easy to play against, right? Good game. There. Let's do one more for today. We're up to uh, 1778 off that. It's only a few games now off of 1800. Pretty good. Pretty good. Wow, what is this lobby? Wait, Doombug? Wait, this guy used to be like really high SSL. Oh my. Okay, we're getting into the lobbies now. <laughs> the good final one to end on. Doombug used to be up there a lot of years ago. Same with Mittens, if this is the same Mittens I'm thinking about. So this is gonna be a complete toss up of the game. I'm not sure how much Doombug plays anymore. Good fake, good beat. Yeah, getting this close to SSL is gonna be tough for sure. A lot of lobbies look like this, they're gonna be gonna be fun. Recognize almost all these players already. I don't know who who Finks is, but obviously he's good. 1800 as well. I fake this, he's gonna hit it across. Debug should get that. Debug always played a very controlly play style, very dribble heavy. Be interesting to see. There's a chance that Finks is actually the best of all of them in this lobby. Using like a new age car. All these other guys are much older players. They might have a little bit of a an older kind of play style. Which is slightly more predictable, but I'd say more consistent, more solid. In a lot of ways. It's a really good touch. Good pass from Doombug. He loves to do that. I haven't seen him play in a long time. If you guys have watched my channel for a long time, you would have seen me play against him years ago. Yeah, 
Good dribble there. That crazy. The 1800s are gonna be really, really sweaty, I think. I could definitely see us losing a few. We haven't lost any yet in GC3, I don't think, but I could definitely see us losing a few in uh, the 1800s because it's basically like a sell game to that point. So far, we have three losses in the series. They came in GC1 and GC2. <laughs> Not in GC3 though, but then again, I did ramp up quite a bit. Um, but I could definitely see like the teammate getting tilted or something in the next few games, probably. Having a struggle. Let's stay on this. It's a good 50. Let's just boom this ball. If not, then that's actually good for us. Yeah, I kind of threw it away. It should be fine. Nice. I'm basically just trying to bait for my teammate there. 1v1 here. Put a go for the bump on him. Saves it well, but so tough, man. That position that I put him in is really one of the hardest ones to get out of in the entirety of Rocket League. There's not many plays that are harder to deal with than that air dribble bump there in a 1v1. -on -one. And that happens a lot in twos, being in a 1v1 -on -one situation or 2v1. -on -one. Oh wait, back wall. He has a flip here, but should be okay to deal with. Trying to beat him. I heard one up. Grab this boost. I passed mid, kind of. Oh, I probably shouldn't have. Wasn't a good pass. I should have. If it went solo, it's almost for sure a goal, but I just wanted to use my teammate and just see him there. It's a good save. It's gonna be tough to make it back there. Nice, good chow. I'm gonna force here. I'm just gonna go close and force the touch. Take this boost. Keep my momentum. I can go back while he gets beat. I have some space here. I'm gonna go up. Good bump. And that's what I was talking about earlier. Once you get into the GC3s, you're gonna see that a lot. I have a solo play there, but he's helping his teammate out from behind. He's uh he's getting in the way, making it awkward for me, making it uncomfortable for me to just take like my time to pick a play there. But still some misses coming out. Even though they're 1841, 1828, still some misses coming out. But yeah. Good games for today. We're up to 1789, so within 100 points now of, uh, of SSL. Pretty good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night, whatever time it is. When you're watching this, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love you. Peace.